going to volunteer. I'm becoming a clown, and a professional clown, and I'm going to go to the children's hospitals down in Tampa and uh, nursing homes for the elderly. And I can also go without the makeup and whatnot and read to them. So I'm going to be volunteering and helping people uh, when I'm laid off. Hopefully, AFA will help me get my seat. TWA and Margaret Flinio's husband and she's having to work today and we really miss her but I'm glad to be here for her and support this group as I always have. Cut! <laughs> Airlines flight attendant that has just been notified by the union and the company that I'm subject to furlough. I'm within the 1,200 flight attendants that are subject to furlough October the 1st. This will impact me in that it would be my second furlough with American Airlines, the first being in 2003 when I was furloughed for five months and then brought back into the system. So I have a unique perspective amongst active American Airlines flood attendants in that I'm part of that 1200 that is subject to furlough and we will not have that information as to who makes the cut and who doesn't until probably the first or second week of August. So I feel your pain. Choices we have to make each and every day. In time we'll all learn to appreciate. My name is Eileen Postel. I started in October of 1972 my flying career. And I thoroughly enjoyed all the years I spent flying. I consider myself really blessed to have such a wonderful life. And then, unfortunately, the APFA took that life away from me. Um, I was furloughed, and um, fortunately, I was able to retire. And so, I decided not to go back. I had to struggle and, and find a job, retrain myself uh, to do something new at age 55, which is, it wasn't an easy thing to do. I just wanted to say that even though I am retired, I am here today, and I'll be here till the, until we get the justice that's due us because of my co-workers and my friends that I've known for over 30 years, and I want what's right for them, and so I'm not going to give up. We can do in this whole universe. If you can conceive, you can believe, and I know. All we have to do